Hey guys, Vada Kid again. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we started off the adventure and we know that there was a void in the sky and blah 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 blah. In this episode, we're gonna go and see where Tippy wants us to go. It seems he wants us to go over here. Okay, let's go up here then. Now, just in case you're wondering, I will voice act each character, but only characters that are important to the story. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Yeah, like that. I would voice act him as well. But this kid right here that doesn't have a point, I'm not going to voice act him because there's no point in talking to him. All right, well. This is the heart pillar. <sighs> Sorry about that. There's a phone ringing. Now get close and place the pure heart. I am- I'm sorry about that, it was my, uh, one of my sisters. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Ooh, a door's appeared, nice. I'm- I'm sorry about the phone ringing during an important part of the game. I didn't know. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and go back to where we need to go, so... You know what? I'm not gonna cut ahead, cause there's not really any point. Well, well, besides time purposes, but you know what? For the first few episodes, I don't care about cutting. All right, well, it's just going up elevators and stuff, so. And plus, there's this part. Perhaps you should strike this block before you head back to Merlin. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, what these things do is they're save blocks and they'll allow you to save your progress. That's why there's a big S on it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Whee! I like how the lines on the, on the elevator disappear. Ah, oh, the two of you return. Look, a door's appeared. No shit. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to the pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the other part pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find the, this pure heart to return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. And don't worry, this was not in my ass. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. I'm not going to read anything that's on the blue text screen either. The live prognosticus will tell us that the hero will meet the dimensional governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I'm almost certain this is refers to my friend, Flip Wizard Bistovius. Now go through this door and seek out the stovies. Okie dokie. Well, let's get going. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go through here. And see what we can see. Ooh, more storyline. <laughs> the void has been ripped into dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Legis, please. All this gun is foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time till all worlds meet their demise. Wow, that's just super count. Yeah, first you'll erase all those naughty worlds. And then you're gonna build the perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world sounds magical. <laughs> I can hardly stand the way. Sorry, I'm late! If this crackles up the microphone, I'm sorry. What in blazes, bug lads? How am I beating myself here? What's going on? Oh, well, Chunks, you big silly. Did you ever sleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey! 
You can't fool me with that crazy sharp shooting hologanari, it's me, me, isn't it? I show a little respect to the guy, you can't go about in his first lass. <laughs> How delightful, me. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh golly, thanks Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world. I knew I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with funky life games. Hey Tormento, have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never mind. <laughs> Uh, it's too funny. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After those rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, you must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Uh, just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo on your inbox. Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately, yeah. I'm thinking it's the hero of prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper? And possibly the hero? Are you sure of this, Nastasia? Interesting news. Interesting news, Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in the brain! The hero Nastasia is going on about you, the enemy? It's actually really then you gotta cut me loose on him. Yeah, gotta. I'll give a nice taste to old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero choking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can get the meek out. The will rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it. Mimi, the Mentia, you should tag along. You could witness a proper chunking. Oh god, you're in his voice kind of hurts my head. Throw it a little bit. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunky. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> Dementio. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black and hurry for your world's end draws near. Ah, man, this is awesome. Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. I will read these though, the little yellow paper. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Chapter 1-1 The adventure unfolds. Now the thing about uh, this game is not just, just chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. It's actually 4 chapters in 1, so get used to that. I almost bumped the microphone, so that would have been bad. Alright, well, looks like the world is getting started. Let's do this. I feel the pure heart, but it's so far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend Dystopius along the dimensional technique. We better go find him. Alright. One more thing. If you want to learn about something, just read my call. I know about many things. I already know how to do this. Okay, now getting off started, there was a Goomba right there. Those are easily killed using having only one health. Um, you can also collect coins when you're out here. It's very fun, very fun. I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Oh, the Squigglies. These actually take two hits to kill, and you can actually shake the weird mode a little bit to kind of make it so. You can flip over a little bit. And by flip over, I mean, uh... Or make a stylish move. It's kind of like stylish moves in the second game. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find anything, but I need my power to look around. Alright, now what you gotta do is you gotta aim at the screen a little bit. I'm sorry if I mess up. I'm trying to not go away from the microphone. Is it? There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. Alright, so aiming at the screen and you can unlock hidden secrets. It's a door. Let's go inside. Yay. Hmm. What is the me- What is this mega mustache that stands before me? 
And how does it have the audacity to address my monocular glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there, red shirt, preposterous white gloves, got the cap. Ha, you are grabbed in the rich cross of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero. Impersonator. <laughs> uh, this game is just full of jokes. What a costume, you look like you leaped right out of the pages of the Lord Masters. No, no, I really am the hero. This is Mario, he's, he's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin? Only his full-bodied beard rivals my hairy magnificence. If Merlin thinks you are a true hero, you probably are. <laughs> well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestobius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping, for a nom nominal fee of 10,000 coins. But that's preposterous. You can't charge that to teach the hero of the prophecy? Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Vistovius has certain exposures. Why should the hero get a world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? Uh, no. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do you have a deal? Hell no. Still you refuse? So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will waive the nominal fee and teach a few for free. You agree to this? Hell yeah. Significant. Let us begin. Flimity flamity flume. Diggity daggity doom. Zibbity zabbity zoom. Kaboom! Flip out. And we have learned the power of the Pinkus. I, Bestovius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? What the hell is A? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand, but if you lack the mustache for full comprehension, just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret passages. But beware, if you use your new ability too long, you will lose HP. Okay, um, first instance of, uh, what is it called? First instance of breaking the fourth wall, they are saying that we are here. Alright, now if we flip in here, we should find a fire burst. Those are, that is a very important item for later. You want, you want, you actually want to save that item for much later, like after the first chapter. Save your progress? Yes. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and keep going, because I like the things to do. Alright, go ahead and kill him. Now if we go down this pipe, there's actually a secret down here. Um, I believe... Going here, there should be a shroom shake. Yep, called it. Alright, go ahead and flip, and you will find a lot of coins. That's a very nifty little secret. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end up the episode in about two minutes, so... Just so we don't stretch it out for too long. Alright, now over there's a bunch of coins, but I don't care about those, because I want to continue onward. What that was explaining was, if you jump on enemies, you'll notice that you get points, and every time you earn a point, you get a level up. Alright, now it looks like you can't get past that, right? Wrong. You can just flip. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and jump. Flip. Flip. Fine. Jump. Oh, shoot. I, I, I tried to do a trick, but it didn't work. Alright, let's go. Whee! Alright, well... I might have to end it off pretty soon. Now, how... Now how you get past here is you flip, and you can actually go into the mountains. Um, they actually showed this in the trailer for this game, and I was very happy about it. Alright, now we're actually coming up on the first door, so once we go through this door right here, I will go ahead and end off the episode. I think. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, so next time on Super Paper Mario, 
we will continue the adventure and hopefully it won't be a story heavy. See you guys later. Eat bananas!